Genesis, Genesis 11. And the whole earth was of one language and one speech. Sound familiar of what they're trying to do? You've seen all the video that I've shown you and the footage I've shown you, and you hear them constantly talking about one and togetherness, one love together. Okay, so Genesis 11, and the whole earth was of one language and one speech. And it came to pass as they journeyed from the east that they found a plan in the land of Shinar, and they dwelt there. And they said to one another, go to, let us make brick and burn them thoroughly. And they had brick for stone and slime had they for mortar. And they said, go to, let us build us a city and a tower whose top may reach unto heaven. And let us make us a name, lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. And the Lord came down to the city and the tower, which the children of men builded. And the Lord said, behold, the people is one. And they have all one language, and this they begin to do, and now nothing will be restrained from them, which they have imagined to do. Go to, let us go down, and there confound their language, and they may not understand one another's speech. So in other words, this is when God breaks up people into nations, breaks up this one world that they were trying to create with one everything, right? And trying to defy God and create a tower to go up into heaven. Man versus God, this defiance. And God broke it up and broke the people into nations. So he says, go to let us go down and there confound their language that they may not understand one another's speech. So he scrambles the languages and that's thus we have multiple languages. So the Lord scattered them abroad from thence upon the face of all the earth and they left off to build the city. Therefore is the name of it called Babel because the Lord did there confound the language of all the earth and from thence did the Lord scatter them abroad upon the face of all earth. Clearly, for those of you who don't see it or understand or need it translated, this is God scrambling the nations and creating nations. Because man was trying to create a one world then. A world versus God, against God, uniting as one. They're trying to rebuild it now. That is what they're trying to do. So this whole thing going down has everything to do, yes, with the mark of the beast and all those things, but it has to do with creating a world, a one world, where everybody's on the same page under the worship of the Antichrist, uniting together. And we've heard presidents in the past say what? Say, it's going to take a great big old event from an alien attack or something to, to cause the nations to rise together as one. Well, this is another perfect example, right? The whole world has all, is all connecting now because we're all affected by this so-called outbreak that doesn't exist, right? Then they come back and they bring a bio attack and everybody's looking to point fingers at nations and somebody comes in and brings peace, right? But these nations are working together as one to create this new world order. Don't be fooled to think Korea and America and China and Russia. Oh, they're all, all of them bicker and there's hatred amongst them. No, they're using, using social engineering and these fake wars and all this stuff to create this division, to force people into wanting one, wanting to unite, being so stressed out and worn out from all of it that they would accept whatever they get you know, told is going to save everything from happening and stop it from happening and bring normalcy back. Right. So Gates talking about phase two, pandemic two, his fear being a bio attack. It wouldn't really be one, even if it was a real attack. It wouldn't be one from China or somewhere else like these people somehow believe right now. They believe that this is real and this is an attack from another country. All these attacks come from within. All these world leaders are working within to attack their own people. Because this is the end game for all these people. There's no, uh, there's no official in any country, no dictator, no president, no counselor, whatever these countries have as their, the names of their presidents. There's no guy independently in there who doesn't worship the beast. They all do. And they're all working together as one to get this finished and complete. So if, if there is a phase two, because I know people believe that this is phase one and this is it, maybe that's so. Uh, everyone's entitled to their own opinion. But it's important to note with the predictive program, with these guys laying eggs all the time, telling you what they're going to do next, when Bill Gates goes out there and he says, that's what he thinks is coming, that's what he thinks is coming, 
You better plant that, you know, he might be planting that seed, but you better write that down or keep it in your memory bank for when something like that does go down and say, yeah, he told us in advance, oh, he's a genius. Or was it planned in advance? Because these events are planned in advance. That's how it works out of their own mouths. And I've shown you that and so have others. Keep your ears wide open to listening to this stuff because they're telling you, they're always telling you what's coming next. God bless all of you and your families.